Subliminals are those videos on YouTube that say they can change your eye color, give you a million dollars, or do other things just through you listening to the audio. And apparently nowadays, some people are trying to use them to change their race. Yeah, <laughs> they are trying to race change with YouTube audios. And just weird subliminals have been cropping up left and right on the platform. And nearly two years ago, I covered the disturbing side of YouTube subliminals, known as underground subliminals before, where people were creating and listening to ones designed to give themselves mental health problems and just general really horrible life situations. But things have gotten weirder, as the underground subliminal community is still pushing out disturbing content with a newfound sense of desperation. They've been going to incredible lengths to make sure their garbage content can avoid bans. Instead of putting the effects, or as they like to call it, the benefits of the subliminals in the descriptions, usually they now put it in the comments, make it completely unreadable, or put it in Google Documents off the site. While all of this is going on under the surface, the Change Your Race subliminals are are doing incredibly well. They're on the surface level of the community and they're pulling in hundreds of thousands of views. It's very concerning and we're gonna look at all of it. However, I think it's good to start at the underground stuff and then work our way to the surface. This one tries to give the listeners leukemia blood cancer. You have to understand that the people who make these believe these videos work 100%. So they are making these videos with the full intention and belief that their video is going to do this to someone. Here are some subliminals trying to give you cardiac arrest. One of the comments on this one was absolutely mind-blowing. The person said that they hope everybody gets their results. Are you light yogami? Why do you want everybody around you to fall dead of a heart attack? Honestly, I feel like I'm experiencing cardiac arrest making this video. But you know, if I do feel like I need medical care, I guess there are get admitted to the hospital subliminals. While we're on the subject of medical care and stuff, a few months ago I went to the doctor and he told me, Savannah, you have iron deficiency anemia. You need to do something about that. So what the doctor didn't do is he didn't prescribe subliminals to me. He uh, said I should supplement iron. And I discovered I have other nutritional deficiencies. And when I started looking at all the supplements and vitamins I'd have to take and how many bottles it would be in, I basically gave up. I didn't even start. But luckily today's sponsor care of makes taking vitamins incredibly easy. It's a personalized service that gives you vitamins and supplements based on your personal lifestyle and health goals. And to get started, all you need to do is take a short online quiz about all of your health goals and then care of will give you doctor backed recommendations. And you can order these and they'll come in easy to take daily packs. Little pouches with everything you need in them. I'm really busy and taking vitamins from different bottles would be really overwhelming. But care of makes taking your vitamins really convenient and supplements have now become a part of my daily health and wellness this routine. And also the packs are made with plant-based compostable film to help limit the impact on the environment. And it's got your name on it, which is pretty neat. Out of the supplements they recommended for me, my two favorites would be iron and keratin. Obviously I need the iron because, you know, iron deficiency anemia. It's not a good thing. But since taking my daily iron, I've had way higher energy levels. And keratin is a really important protein for your hair and nails. And it's just been helping my hair look really healthy. Now if you're like me and like to add vitamins to your health routine, just to get those extra nutrients in your body, and you also want it to be super convenient, you can check Check out Care Of using my link in the description, take the quiz, and use code SEVANTIX50 for 50% off subscription items in your first order. Thank you Care Of for sponsoring this video. Now back to subliminals. Here's one about giving somebody else lethal radiation poisoning. It's titled Radiation Sickness. We like a little bit of radiation sickness as a treat, okay? And I think it's kind of wild that they made a radiation sickness subliminal and it says dislikes disabled by owner. Again, these creators, they think that these videos 100% work, right? So they're content with the idea of giving someone radiation sickness, but not receiving a dislike. Here are the benefits of radiation sickness. Desired person's body is exposed to high levels of radiation, giving them radiation sickness. And by desired person, they mean whoever you want to have this happen to them is gonna have this happen to them. It says they go through all the stages, they feel excruciating pain. They will go to the hospital, but will receive lack of care. You don't need to come to their funeral and everyone's sad for a second, but moves on quickly. <laughs> and I really wish this whole thing was a joke. Sadly, it's not. And they commented on their own video, I'm so stupid. It, that's it. I mean, the rest of the comment is kind of irrelevant. That part is actually correct. But stupid or not, they are creative, actually. They made a subliminal, Broken Robot, where you're obsessed with Hatsune Miku and Vocaloids, but also your mental and physical illnesses have worsened. <laughs> So, I don't know what to say. I, I can't really provide commentary on that. It's just, what the fuck? <laughs> like, now they have one called cannibalism with anime in the background. And as you guessed it, 
It's about eating people. The benefits are manifest human in your desired way. Crave human blood, organs, skin, fat, etc. Become stronger and dangerous when you're starving. It's so bad. And it says you'll be rid of all guilt and be free of any consequence. Because that's a big thing with this creator. They don't like their consequences, right? They don't like their dislikes, clearly. But they're okay with encouraging people to eat people. And these comments are just wild. Great sub. Please don't delete this. This combos well with the other murderer subs I listen to. Don't eat the brain. You can die. You were right. You're basically risking prion disease. And clearly, it does not look like a fun thing to have. Basically what it is, is you consume messed up, misfolded proteins. And it basically triggers a domino effect in your brain where other proteins are gonna start misfolding. Which leads to a bunch of horrible effects like this. And with this, you're basically done for. There is no cure for it. So, consuming people, not good. Here's this subliminal. I'm sure you can guess what it does. It encourages the opposite of what the title is saying. And this creator has just made a bunch of other really awful ones. They have, how could someone do such a thing? It's supposed to give you the desire to end people and be a serial life ender. And it also says you're immune to being caught by the police and that the police don't even suspect you. Um, if you're dumb enough to actually listen to this, you're not gonna get away with it. <laughs> Good luck on that. Here is Beauty is Pain, and they say you become a hundred billion times more attractive whenever you hate yourself or feel a negative emotion towards yourself. It also tells you to develop every single unhealthy coping mechanism known to mankind. Just like a full-on list there. And here's another subliminal that is genuinely disturbing. This is what the subliminal creator wants the people who listen to this video to experience. I have the most severe depression known to mankind. My depression have worsened million times more. My depression constantly worsens regardless of everything. I am constantly sad. My sadness is so strong it's painful. I don't even remember how happiness feels. I am so hopeless and lost. I know that I am destined to die. I am unable to smile or laugh. I can't help but cry all the time, <sighs> etc. This subliminal is just gross because the creator genuinely thinks that this is being inflicted on the viewer and also it's sort of romanticizing it. And in my teen years, having gone through a period in which I struggled so deeply myself, I strongly dislike when anything tries to romanticize what it's like to feel such a way. You know, I'm gonna spare the details, but I will say I struggled deeply, deeply for a few years. It's gross to see people romanticizing this or trying to make it worse for other people. Now, I know people are gonna be like, what is the big deal if the subliminals don't work? The placebo effect is a documented thing. If you've convinced yourself that every time you listen to this video, you start disliking life more, that's not good for mental health. I don't think any therapist would recommend this. Here's two subliminals. Desired person becomes ugly and has a bad life and everyone hates desired person and they're pretty self-explanatory. The comments are really funny because of how petty the reasons are for people listening to this. Now I did come across a really weird subset of subliminals that are focused on trying to make people into like kindergarteners. And you know, again, not quite sure about the efficacy of it when it says listening to the video is going to make your birth certificate say you're five years old. Not quite sure how that works. I don't know, maybe I'm uneducated. Now it's time to move away from the underground subliminals and it's time to talk about the surface level ones. The weird part of the community that's bringing in hundreds of thousands of views when it really shouldn't be. The race changing subliminals. Here is East Asian appearance in one listen. Don't overuse. And it has 295,000 views. See, the thing is with these type of subliminals, they're so popular that there are some accounts making these as a troll, but this account is not trolling. Their whole shtick, like a lot of what they post Post is just general subliminals and they also post a lot about this whole thing. Here is look Korean right now and the comments on this one are a gold mine. Someone commented and said they had good results from the subliminal and then they gave a PSA for everybody in the comment section. Please read. This would be long and important. Please if you don't need this subliminal, leave. Don't hate. We are all suffering and fighting. Suffering what? Not being Korean? So let people be happy however they want to be. Some are happy being pale, some are happy being dusky, some want to be chubby and skinny. Some want to look American, and then we want to look Asian. Then why is it so wrong? Wanting to change ourselves doesn't mean we don't love ourselves. We just want to embrace ourselves in different ways. See, the problem with subliminals like this is no, you're not you're not loving yourself if you're wanting to completely change ethnicities. And you're basically fetishizing a group of people. And then a lot of people are saying that their eye shape changed after listening to this. <laughs> My eyes slash eyelids started itching right after I started listening. If your eyes are itchy, 
Get help. You're not becoming Korean. You have an infection. Here's another person saying their eyelids are itchy. Bestie, what did you put in this? I feel like my face is burning. I listen for maybe at least 10 times and I can feel that my eyes are changing and they hurt me and I feel pressure on my face. See, maybe this is just another instant death subliminal in disguise, but it's like luring people in. This doesn't sound like they're having a good time. YouTube went through a purge a few months ago where channels that made mostly subliminals about like, you know, get good grades, manifest money, manifest travel, get clear skin, those types of subliminals, those channels got terminated, but these are just fine. Like, these have just stayed up for some reason. It's not quite computing how this is somehow worse than this, but that's just how it is. Yeah, the current state of things right now is just really odd. That certain standard run-of-the-mill subliminal channels got terminated, but then stuff like this stayed up, and underground subliminals are still thriving and just getting weirder, more specific, more disturbing. It's very odd. And I revisited this topic today because on my community tab, I asked you guys what you wanted to see from me, and this is what you suggested. So I took a closer look at things, and unfortunately, uh, this video is the result of that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.